it's Dylan, and welcome to another episode of Campus Update. It took me till the end of the year to finally be anchor, but it happened. Let's kick off the episode with my favorite sport, dancing. Here's Max with the details on Synergy. Head over to the theater on June 1st and 2nd to see Synergy, the last dance performance of the year. I play Adam in the dance, and it's really fun because it's a really classic, like stylized movement. We're working with a great choreographer named Trevin, who's an APA alum who just came back from college in Pace University. The show is centered around APA's dance ensembles, but also includes works by guest choreographers and APA faculty. As an audience member, you can expect to see a lot of great movement. We have a whole bunch of great dancers, and the choreographer we have is really amazing this year. The show is different from other dance shows this year because it's our final show. Uh, a lot of the seniors are leaving, so everyone's really giving their heart and soul to all the movement and dancing so it's really cool to explore all different kinds of dance and all different emotions and types of art that you know we can capture through movement come see synergy june 1st and 2nd synergy will be really fun <laughs> come see it <laughs> friday's show starts at 7 30 and saturdays at 2. be sure to come see synergy next up shane says a painful goodbye to all our campus update seniors Campus Update has definitely like made me find my calling. Like I, I, I love being able to inform people. Campus Update has given me a lot of skills that I've used even now. Campus Update has made a huge impact on my life because before senior year, I had no idea what I really wanted to do. And I took this class for fun and um, it turned out to be really inspirational and I've decided to pursue a career in journalism simply because of how much fun I've had in this class. My favorite memory from high school is probably all the shows that I did for MMET. I think my favorite memory from high school is definitely meeting my friends and just meeting a lot of people. Uh, going to the uh, MMET Film Fest. Yeah, I don't have one. Uh, if I could change anything, I would have done my homework and studied for all the tests. I feel like I could have done a better job at like introducing myself to people and just getting to know a lot more people. I don't think I would. I think everything that happened, the good and the bad stuff, all happened for a good reason, and it looks like it's gonna end on a good note, so I must have done something right. I think definitely just the people around me and my friends and my teachers. The person that influenced me the most is probably Miss Carter, if you're listening to this, as she was, um, I was new to the school and she was always helping me out. But especially Mr. Knight and Mr. Simmons, they both encouraged me to pursue music and encouraged me to become a better musician and to keep trying to never give up. My plans for the future are I'm going to attend OCC and then Cal State Long Beach to study film. Uh, my plans for the future is going back to Norway and finishing high school there. I plan to pursue music. No matter what that is, I plan to just be a musician, write, write songs, even if it's for other people. I just want to write songs and create great music for generations to come. After HBHS, I'm going to be going to Cal State Long Beach. If you want to be successful in life, you have to take risks, and it takes being comfortable in order to be successful. Hang in there, my dudes. It's going to be a while to just live in the moment, because it really does go by fast. I know it sounds cheesy, but live in the moment and just stay strong and finish strong. Wow, that was great. I can't wait to graduate myself. Speaking of seniors, here's Luke with how upcoming seniors can get parking passes. Hey Oilers, parking in Huntington High can be a bit confusing, so I'll walk you through parking in preparation for the next school year. Firstly, you need to know where you can park. To park in the high school lot, you're gonna need a parking pass. Parking passes will be given to upcoming seniors on a lottery system. To qualify for the parking pass, fill out the application form on hboilers.com. Completed applications will be accepted in the office from May 29th to June 1st. The lottery will occur in the breezeway Tuesday, June 5th at 3 p.m. If you were able to get a parking pass, you're going to need to know where you can park. During the school day, students can only park in the white lines. The orange lines are for our teachers, and the green lines are for our visitors. If you were unable to get an HBHS parking pass, First Christian Church also provides parking passes for a fee. First Christian Church also gives you your own unique numbered parking spot for the whole year. 
Hopefully this clears up any confusion around the parking situation at our school. Have a great time next year, Oilers. Hopefully that clears things up. As the year is coming to a close, we didn't just want to talk about the students, but also some of the teachers that have impacted all of our lives. So here's our teacher spotlight on Miss Young. Hey Oilers, sometimes it can be easy to forget about the hard work and motivation that comes from the teachers here on our campus. So this week we decided to put a spotlight on one of our wonderful teachers. Just this past month, Ms. Young was a contender for top educator in Orange County. She works hard to teach English and has even brought us the lounge, which allows us to get help on assignments or learn new concepts. We set out to ask Ms. Young and her students a few questions. Oh my gosh, uh, there are so many amazing things about my job. I think the best part is the relationships with the students and watching them uh, have epiphanies and get excited about life and learning and thinking. There's always something, you know, she's kind of like that mother on campus, which I just admire about her and I don't have that relationship with many teachers, so it's good to have that connection with her, so yeah. Miss Young is just a really powerful and empowering individual, like she definitely listens to every idea that you have. I think having kids know that they're cared for and loved and that someone believes in them is probably my greatest accomplishment. First and foremost, I love, love, love you, Miss Young. I just adore you and I, you know, hope that I can carry like the same passion and like fire you have for people, you know, on my future, you know, career aspirations one day and, you know, carry that same spirit. Um, yeah, and inspire people like you do. So, yeah. I think it's pretty clear that HBHS loves Ms. Young. Here on Campus Update and from all of us Oilers. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow, Ms. Young has done some really great work here on campus. Here to contrast that, we have Aaron with, oh gosh, why is there another wizard talk? Hello, HB Oilers, and welcome to Wizard Talk, the show that started out as a Hall Talk parody, but due to certain legal disputes is now a short sh talk show. Our guest today is Buker. <laughs> Tell me, Bucket, how are you doing today? Um, I don't think this is a funny idea, and I don't want to be here. That's fun. So rumor has it that William Watts is retiring from Hall Talk. And we're wondering who's going to take his place. Um, I will be taking over, but I think it's a stupid idea and a stupid show, and I don't want to be part of it. You know, Buker, I thought, I thought you were the one. I thought you were the chosen one. I thought you were the one that would take Hall Talk and make it great, but no. You just want to cast it away. And this isn't entirely related to what you were talking about right there but what's with the wizard gag like i just i just need to know because like there was hall talk wizard wizard talk and now there's hall talk show wizard talk show because all you do is you come in here ask me to come into the tv studio during my class time where i could be working on valuable stuff put on a wig and beard and hat and robe and say it's content i mean i'm i'm making a segment No, it's just, it's just stupid. Oh my God. Why am I doing this? My guess is... Hey, Infinity Greenhouse, some of us made real albums this year, but I don't see anyone talking about that. Okay, that was interesting. Well, that's all for today, Oilers. And remember, we only have one episode left, so see you next week.